हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू दी इकनॉमिक्स क्लास एंड टूडेज टॉपिक इज फ्रॉम यूनिट नंबर एट दैट इज मेथड्स ऑफ रिडम्पन ऑफ पब्लिक डेथ इन द लास्ट क्लासेस वी हैव डिस्कस टॉपिक्स फ्रॉम यूनिट नंबर एट लाइक वी हैव डिस्कस पब्लिक एक्सपेंडिचर लाइक वेर द गवर्नमेंट इज डूइंग द एक्सपेंडिचर देन पब्लिक रेवेन्यू फ्रॉम वेर फ्रॉम विच सोर्स इज द गवर्नमेंट इज गेटिंग मनी एंड टूडेज टॉपिक इज पब्लिक debt like whenever we the common people when we have limited money and our expenses are more than our incomes for example your expenses for a month is 50000 and your income is 40000 your income or your salary which you are getting is only 40000 but your daily expenses like paying off the school fees then house rent water bill etc then gas bill these are all what your expenses right so your income is less and your expenses are more so in order to meet your necessities you will borrow money from someone all right it may be you may borrow the money from bank or you may also borrow money from your relatives etc so when common people when their expenses are more than their incomes they borrow money from money lenders from relatives or from the bank so even government also faces this kind of problem like whenever the money is less whenever the revenue is less what is revenue i said after paying the taxes whatever the amount which is left with you or from which sources you are getting income that is called as revenue so when revenue of the government is less and the expenses of the governments are more then it will also borrow money from other sources the definition is written here when expenditure of government exceeds the revenue it borrows money from various sources and thus it comes under debt so this four letter word d e b t you need to pronounce this as not debt it is just called as debt because b the letter b here is silent now what is the meaning of debt might be you are hearing this word for the first time let me tell you what is the meaning of debt for example if i have taken money from a money lender i have taken some 10000 of rupees okay i did not repay it then second again i have taken money from my friends okay again i have taken 10000 the second time then my income was very less i did not repay it so totally 20000 i need to pay then again what happened in the third month also my expenses were more and my incomes were less then third time again i have borrowed money from the bank now how much money i need to pay in total 30000 i need to pay then fourth month what happened again my expenses were more and incomes were less and i have to pay money to three persons okay first were my uh, money lender then second were my friends and third were the relate uh, the banks now fourth time again the money is insufficient for me and i have again borrowed money from the bank also so totally i have borrowed money from four sources how many sources i have borrowed money four sources how much 10000 10000 10000 10, 10000 so in total i need to pay 40000 rupees i did not repay it okay in this manner the condition of borrowing money and not paying it and again borrowing money not paying it again borrowing money not paying it this system this following thing is called as debt it is called as debt in hindi or urdu you say it as qarz right in telugu you say it as appu like you are borrowing money you are not in a position to return it back that is called your debt so government is also having debts it is borrowing money from sources but it is not able to repay it so what is the name of the topic methods of redemption of public debt redemption means reducing 
how to reduce the debt of the government okay from which sources shall we provide money to the government so let us see the first one before going to the first one you just see public debt means expenses is more than revenue okay expenses is more than revenue which means your expenses are more revenue is less whenever this condition will happen you need to borrow money from someone right the second condition when your expenses are less and your incomes are more your revenue is more and what will happen you will save some part of money but this condition is opposite to that your expenses are more and your income is less because of this reason you are borrowing money from various sources this is the actual meaning of public debt now in this topic we'll learn how to reduce the burden of public debt from the government first one capital levy heavy one time tax imposition of heavy one time tax on capital assets is known as capital levy like for example there are rich persons in the society there are rich people they will have huge properties with them so government will impose heavy tax on their properties on what all the capital assets they are having on what all the wealth they are having so government will keep one time heavy tax on this capital assets and the properties by imposing taxes obviously the government will get money because these people are paying the taxes money is going from there from them and money is coming to the government so what is capital levy imposition of heavy one time tax on capital assets and also especially imposing taxes on rich people who have huge properties we can reduce the public debt we can reduce the burden of debt from the government because while imposing tax government is getting money with that money it can repay its debt then coming to second point additional taxation government will levy new taxes now what is the meaning of this term levy levy means allotting or laying all right for example i am giving you work like you need to write this topic for two times so i am levying you some work i am laying you some work all right i am allotting you some work in the same way government is levying the taxes so government will levy new taxes in order to raise funds and for the repayment of the old debts means now you may be getting confused like what are this uh, old debts new taxes etc for example what is the side heading actually additional taxation whenever money which is coming from taxes is not sufficient for the government then what uh, the government will do it will introduce some additional taxes if it it will keep some additional taxes on the various sections of people in the society then what will happen with the help of new taxes it will raise funds means it will get money from them and with that money it can make the repayment of the old debts whatever the previous debts are there with this from this new taxes whatever the money you are getting you can repay your old debts so this is the second redemption method how to reduce the public debt then coming to the third one that is conversion the term itself is saying converting we need to convert existing loans into new loans existing loans into new loans before the date of maturity this method is especially opted in whenever the interest rate is of new taxes are less for example your existing loan you are paying 20% interest for your existing loan how much interest you are paying 20% and on your new loan you need to pay just 5% interest here you need to pay 20% interest on your loan and here you need to pay only 5% of interest so which one is good for the government this one 
so whenever the existing loans or old loans are converted into new with less rate of interest that is a profit for the government instead of paying 1 lakh rupees it needs to pay only 50000 rupees for example right now what is the meaning of date of maturity before the date of maturity for example whenever you borrow money from someone they'll be saying you want date like before this date you need to pay me back for example this is the month of september i have taken a loan from bank in the month of september and i have gave the assurance that till december i'll repay your loan so december is the date of maturity so before the december comes if my existing loan is converted into new loan with less rate of interest that is a profit for me okay my debt burden will become less so debt burden will become less is means what redemption of public debt first point which we have discussed was capital levy then second redemption method is additional taxation third redemption method is conversion coming to fourth point sinking funds this is the most common of uh, form of savings for the people like we uh, maximum of the students what they do they'll get pocket money every day or week or monthly for example every month your parents are giving you some uh, 500 rupees or some 200 rupees as a pocket money so what you'll do not all the students few student save that money in the piggy banks they'll be having small a uh, pot like structure made of mud nowadays you are getting plastic ones also so what you'll do every day or every week you will save some money in that so whenever any birthday party is there you need to buy some gift then you will break that uh, piggy bank and you will take out the money so that is called as sinking fund so even government like how you deposit some amount uh, in your piggy banks every month or every day from your pocket money how you are saving the money in the same way government is also maintains a separate fund called as sinking fund then what it will do here the public revenue a part of public revenue what was public revenue different different sources the government is getting money right from that money some part of the money is deposited into fund every year a part of public revenue is deposited into fund every year and public debt will be repaid from the sinking fund are you understanding every year the government is saving some money where in sinking funds and that money which is saved it will use for the repayment of public debt all right coming to the last one annuities the term itself is saying annually like in your schools you used to have annual day so in the whole year it happens only once time one time so you can say once in a year in your colleges the annual day will be there for only once in a year scholarships you will be getting once in a year so all these things which will occur only once is called as annually once in a year in the same way government government will also repay its loan every year in installments okay so by this method government repays a part of public debt what are annuities every year government will pay some amount in order to reduce the public debt so these are the five important methods how we can reduce public debt let us recall it once again first is capital levy then second point is additional taxation third point is conversion fourth is sinking fund and last one is annuities so totally from unit number 8 we have discussed four topics items of public expenditure then sources of public revenue then this is the third one that is methods of redemption of public debt and last one was supply creates its own demand very important topics for five marks any one is for sure going to come in your 
board of intermediate examinations please uh, note down all the points and try to revise it again and again till that uh, see you in the next class with some new topics till that stay home stay safe and keep practicing